Kloss. Kloss i svenska. So, anyway, this is the 850 power brake servo. And you can see it's got a, a flat. Oh, when I get quiet, I'm looking for words. Anyway, the, the, the stick that attached to the brake pedal is flat with a hole in it on the F50. On the 460, <coughs> it's got a U shape with a smaller hole in it, and uh, it's easier to adapt this rod to the 460 pedal assembly than trying to fit the 850 brake pedal assembly in the 460 car. Plus the pedals are too long so I wouldn't need to have to cut them too. So I'm gonna try to get this attachment on this servo. And we have to start with a few moments later. Oh I had the word in my Damn it, I lost the word now. The way it travels, when you push the brakes, this goes in a certain amount. Same as this one, it goes in a certain amount. So I gotta figure out what the distance are on this one, because this one fits on the 460 and try to adapt that to this one. I'm gonna measure them both inside and outside. They look pretty similar inside. So Let's start doing some uh, measurement here. So let's start with the distance between fully out and fully in. I still haven't found that word that I was looking for, that I had in my head. Oh, yeah, what the... Should we measure from the hole? Maybe. We'll do that first. That's 140, exact 140 to the base. Write it down here 140, 460, and then this is going to be interesting. To measure this at the same time as I push it down. A few moments later. Well, it's only the the white one. So if I measure the white one, So that's 140 minus 40. 100 millimeter. It's moving. From fully out to fully in. So what about the 850? To 
travel is the same, approximately 40. But this one doesn't go all the way to the bottom. Just needed more power. So it moves the same. They both have the same travel. same travel. So that makes it kind of easy. So then I just have to, like I did measure here, that was So it's 140 from the up, 140, the hole is 8, so you divide that in 2 and you get 4, so 140 minus 4 equals 136. Thirty-six is the from the firewall to the center of the, the hole for the brake pedal is one thirty-six. So what I need to do on the eight fifty from the firewall and one hundred and thirty-six up. That's where the hole needs to be. So, which is the safest method? I need this, this U, oops, I need this U, uh, U shape uh, attachment on the 850 rod. So, what's the safest way? To attach it, you cut it off, of course, but reattach it on this rod the safest way so there's no risk of uh, brake fail failure while you're driving. That's what I gotta fi figure out. So, I'll get back to you guys when I figure that out. Okay. <coughs> I cut this off. <coughs> the 460, we don't need anymore. You know the distance. This one, from the 850, we don't need anymore. This one. So this rod, I cut this rod too long. This this is so the end where I cut it is in the center of the hole. Get it? That's why I have some thing to to work with. Question is if I just should weld it butt on or man I don't know well I just continue to uh, measure and cut this so I get it exactly 
right length and I get well I welded it I did a nice deep V cut on the rod and then I uh, I practice on this one so I had the, the power right on the MIG welder and this burned really good so I welded this one what do you think? I think it's going to be strong enough. This side really burned in pro <coughs> properly. And also on the this is the other side. It's really burnt. I think this is going to be strong enough. It's just uh, <coughs> the only force is this way when you push the pedal. They're not pulling force. So it's just pushing. So Basically, you just have to push on the rod. And it's close, close. It's, it's uh, laying on the rod. So the welds is basically just holding it in place. But when you push on it, it pushes straight on the rod. It doesn't push on the welds. It's straight on the rod. I think this is uh, good enough. And now it's uh, to this one on the top of this to the base down here is 140. So it's in the right position. I'm going to put it on the car together with the pedal assembly and see how it works. Okay, so let's uh, put this together and see how if it works. I'm going to start with putting the servo from the outside in. I managed to find, find, found the, find the holes, even if they couldn't see it. There's supposed to be a, a rubber booth here, but I haven't put it on because I want to see when I push the pedal if, if it goes all the way in. So, can we put this one on here? This one first. Okay. The factory pin goes in here. So I'm just using a, a bolt for now. Like that. Well, let's push the brake pedal and see what happens. It seems to work. I don't know why it's a, a resistance there.
You're not supposed to push it that far down anyway. That worked. Perfect. Let's take it all apart. Back on the bench. But the brake's working. That's cool. This is not uh, that easy. So, if this is attached to the firewall, let's put that aside right now. And this is attached to the firewall. That means that this one is going to be approximately here. But to make it uh, easier, I'm going to get something that I saved. So, this was a, a support plate on the inside of the firewall on the 850. So, here's the brake booster and here's the clutch. So, well, if I put this together with the brake booster, I could uh, like that. So this is up, and then we put this one on. Will it fit? Not really. Cut that bolt off. Did some modification here so it fits. So let's start over. We need this one, goes like that. This one goes here, and this one goes on top. So I did this because now I know where the brake pedal is. So you want the clutch pedal to be at the same level as the brake pedal. Can I get this in here? No, I gotta put this one in first. Like so. So how are you gonna get this to work now? Thirty. Just under thirty. Is the stroke on that one? That's the total stroke. Measure it twi twice and cut once. Yeah. It's 30. 30 millimeter. That's all it. It can move. This is not easy. I'm telling you. What if I extend this up here? So when I push the pedal, it pulls this one. I need to figure out how to measure the, the travel on this clutch arm. Where, where on the clutch arm I get from top to bottom 30 millimeters. Let me try to figure that out. I'll be back. And this is what I kind of figured out here. made one of these. First I was going to make it uh, swivel on, on two shafts but then uh, I started trying this out here. It turns out I don't have to. So this one goes in here and I got a clip there. So. I'm 
welding this piece of metal on the brake pedal. If I make it level, well, I could make a stop there. Yeah, if I make it level with the brake pedal, I gotta make a new stop under here so you don't. Uh, risk of, of breaking anything here or pushing the cylinder so clean this up and weld this uh, piece of metal on the clutch pedal and I'm done with the clutch let's see how it works out Let's uh, weld this on here, attack it first and see if it works. Like so. Now the pedals are uh, even with each other. Does the clutch work? That I said before about doing it twice, <coughs> doing it twice. See if it works this time. Perfect. Let's weld this together then. So I got a can get some more juice. If that's enough maybe. It's done. Break and clutch. Same height on the pedals and the clutch master, the stroke is all the way in. Full stroke. I just have to put a stop on the clutch pedal on the floor later when I have installed it on the car so I know how big it needs to be so because if I put a stop if I push it too hard I could this is just plastic so it could break if you push it too hard and you don't have a stop because when you when you push it down you have about 20 30 millimeter before this one this one hits the the firewall, you got a distance of about 20, at least 20 millimeters 
so I need to put a stop so when I installed it in the car. So, but now is this built after this uh, reinforcement I put, took from the 850? So I gotta put this in the 460, so I know where the hole for the clutch master is gonna be. And the little I've been measuring, it looks like I'm gonna have to uh, cut a piece out of the frame rail and box it in to get room for the clutch master. That's later. This video finished because it, this video was about the brake and the clutch to adapt it to the 460 pedal assembly and that's done. So I can put this aside and go on with the next piece. And I haven't decided yet what's it going to be. But uh, thanks for watching and uh, subscribe if you haven't done that yet. You know, it's the cool uh, guys and girls that's subscribing. The non-subscribers is... Uh, nah. I don't want to talk about it. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye. Ska vi försöka fixa ihop de här två nu till en. Det här är alltså, åh, oh, jag start speaking Swedish again. Sorry guys, kloss, kloss i svenska.